Hello, everybody. I'm Sparky, and welcome to St. Louis' first annual Team Awards. I'm super excited for you guys to be here, and let's get started. So, let's just start with the first award, eh? Uh, the Seggy. That's what I'm calling it. The Seggy, aka the most goals for the team. Okay, this award will go to the uh, team's most goals in a season, and the award is named after our own Seggy. Uh, who will be a fantastic player, will go down as a fantastic player in the SHL. Uh, and as well as St. Louis history as well. So, uh, we probably know what who the winner of this is, but the first year it's going to be like this, okay? The first year the awards are named after the players, and uh, they're going to um, be that person, probably. But next season and the years on, as these na awards are named after our first annual team, Boom. This will, award will get a lot better and better, I promise. But the award goes to... Blitzberg. Ballot... Ballot to... Bal... Damn. Seggy. Because it's Seggy. Um, Seggy's been probably one of my best picks of all time. Um, as a GM uh, in St. Louis. I love everybody. All of you individually. I love you. But uh, Seggy was my first overall... Was the first overall pick. And... Um, Hasn't looked back since. Um, he had 31 goals, 48 assists, and 79 points this year. He was one point shy of 80. Uh, he's been a perfect team member, um, helping people along the way. You know, he's got league jobs, so he helps people with the questions, anything they have. Um, so, good job, great work, and much deserved for this award here. Um, so, the award that Seggy was going to go to the most goals by the team, by a player in the team. All right, so the second award is called the Scott Sterling, the AKA the most blocked shots. Um, this award is awarded to the team's most blocked shots in the season. Uh, the player with the most blocked shots will get this award. The award is named due to the absolute goat, Scott Sterling, and risking their bodies, uh, putting their faces on the line to block shots for the goalie. Um, the winner of the Scott Sterling goes to Outdoor truck. 165 blocks. That is a lot. Um, Snoo has been a blocking machine um, since coming in uh, as a season 63 guy. Um, so we got one more year. Uh, one more season of, of of Snoo here, and I can't. It's it's sad to say that he's got. We got one more year, but um, uh, he's been a blocking machine. He went from 99 blocks to 183 in his last uh, season 64, and then this season he had 165. So he he was a little upset there. I know I know he wanted that 200 mark, but maybe next year Snoo. Um, he's been an amazing user. Oh, captain, my captain. That's what I want to say. He's, he's been our current captain for two seasons now. Uh, he's got one more under the, under his belt. Um, and he has one more season to try to get this award. So, congratulations to him. All right. So, okay. People named after... I named awards after people sometimes. And I named this award after me. Uh, my player in the SHL when I played for Detroit... Fuck Detroit. But when I played for Detroit, I was a hitting machine. I was a power forward who just loved to hit. Um, so this award will go to the most the players with the most hits in the season. And it's of course this award is named after yours truly, your amazing GM, me, Sparky. Um, like I said, my player was an absolute monster on the ice. Uh, total like he almost had four, almost 400 hits in three seasons. Pretty good. I uh, got called up for my third season uh, to Winnipeg. And I uh, was tearing, tearing bodies up there, too. But the winner of the Zechariah Deprov goes to Outdoor Truck. He had 135 hits. Hitting people's heads off. My favorite role. Um, Snoo actually is my favorite role. Like I said, the power forward. Uh, the player will... Will get in front of a goalie, but also come down. Uh, get in front of the goalie on offense, but also come down on defense and just hit people's heads off. Um, he had 135 hits this season, so awesome job. So Scott, so oh, I didn't, I didn't change the name of the Scott Sterling there. If you see, this is uh, the Scott Sterling Award. Um, this one is for hits. 
It's the Sakurai to Parab award. Can't be perfect. Oh well. Get it next season. Alright, the fourth award. The Jaden Clouder Clouder Award goes to the most points by a defenseman. Um, this award will be awarded to the team's player the players the team's most points by a D Vance. The award is named after JP. The the award will go to a demon with the most points. The winner of the Jaden Clouder goes to Jaden Clowder. Um, he hit 18 goals, 37 assists, 55 points. Um, it's been a minute since uh, since I joined St. Louis as a co-GM in season 60, in season 57 that we had a defenseman that was scoring a lot of goals. Um. So I am putting my name there right now. This man should be put up on the uh, most improved for the J Awards. Okay. Uh, like I said, he had, he he had 50 point season this season after having a minus a plus and minus of minus <laughs> a crap done. Okay. Um, and I think JP has been one of my best free agent pickups in St. Louis history. Or the best in St. Louis history. Don't at me. Uh, well, he's a well. This is a well-deserved award. Uh, great user, great player. Uh, one more season for him. So let's try to see if we can obtain the title for him before he goes off to New England with Snoop. Okay, and the last award, but not last but not least, so more and many more will come next season. But uh, I wanted you guys to get you guys uh, awards here uh, for this season five. Will probably be a couple more, uh, maybe great user. If you guys have any any um, examples of awards, let me know. Uh, so this award is the Anthony Diani Award. Uh, this award is the best. His award is a the this award is awarded to the best tendy, tender goalie, Saeed netminder keeps keeper. The man, the person, the man or woman who protects the goal or us. The most important position on one of the most important positions, probably the most important position on the ice. This award, aka best keep, Anthony Dione Award goes to Anthony Dione. I know I'm butchering your name, Anthony, but sorry. Um, where did I start with this guy? I mean, he had 13 wins, 13 losses, 31 games. Uh, he's a, he will be our starting goal goalie next season and the year after. He's only going to get better. He's at he's got his 350 build. He has 425 build after. Can't wait. Um, he Anthony's been a fantastic user and player. Uh, he took the role actually in St. Louis as a backup, right? Where I know teams have GMs have told me that if I didn't if I didn't draft Anthony, they would have drafted him and started him. So they were pretty salty that I he would that he was just sitting on my bench. Um, and then uh, Josh. Went MIA, I uh, went inactive. Uh, we needed a goalie, and I just felt like Anthony deserved a playoff series, and um, that's what I did. And I am so excited. I'm so happy that I put him in for this first series um, to win his for his first ever as a user, first ever playoff series, and mine as a GM. And um, as a as a, uh, as a player in the J, uh, it's amazing because I think the J is way better than the SHL. Um, the J is where you can really build and learn and see how your player you know grows. And I think Anthony, his player, is going to be fantastic in St. Louis. Um, he, we might get him as we might try to get him as the best goalie in uh, SHL history. I'll have to check the record books on that, but. Uh, Thank you, Anthony, for sticking along with us as a backup for for the little bit of the season, and then taking on a massive role in the playoffs to try and, and take down the Quebec City uh, Owls. Um, hoot hoot! But uh, yeah, so thank you everybody for lis watching this award show. Um, you know, it, it's something that I enjoy doing. Uh, and uh oh, excuse me and um i would never chain trade any of you guys away for this team um i love 
being a GM. I love this team, and I love uh, what you guys have uh, done and built for this team so far. So let's go out next season, season 66. Uh, let's get some wins, and let's try to fight for a title. Good day, everybody.